The simplest and quickest way to develop your own operator training material is to click on the, op the process analysis option right here on your desktop. That will open up the, uh, the uh, process analysis screen. And what we're going to do is click on the blank manual Excel sheet button down here. This will bring up an Excel sheet that looks as follows here. Now, this Excel sheet is used for several purposes. It's used for time study data entry, where if you're manually taking a time study, you can enter the values and have them used for calculations. Or there's one here called training template. You click on a training template. And um, you can design this any way you want, but you want to preserve the data uh, from row six down. You can, uh, you can insert more rows, but the basic format has to be the same. And the idea here is if you add another task, so I'm going to call it task five. And let's just say the operator is uh, uh, get part. And let's just say that takes uh, 3.2 seconds, right? And they're going to position part. And that's going to take uh, 5.2, right? And then they're going to uh, process. And that's going to take 1.8. And then unload on the side. And that's going to take uh, 3.7. Okay, so here you see the various function here is a task, different tasks. These are going to become the individual bars that we're going to have. Here are the activities. Now, if you'd like, you can also add additional functions like inspection. Let's say you do an inspection. And the inspection is going to take uh, five seconds, and it's a non-value added activity. Put an N in here. You can also add a subtotal. It's kind of important that you use subspace total. And then you can tally these up like this. Right, using your standard Excel functions. So this is how you use your uh, your task column, your activities or the individual activities within the task, whether it's value added or non-value added. Leave it blank if it's value added. Put your times in here, and then you can add any notes. Now notes you can add to the end. So you can say um, uh, basket to the operator's right. Okay, so what you've got here is basically five columns that you're building up your different tasks here. And then all you do is you click on the send to balance option up here. I'm just going to actually close out of this one. Normally that wouldn't be running when you're doing this. So you, you operators, let's spell that right. Operators right. Okay, and then you're going to click on the send to balance here. Give it a few seconds. And it's going to open up the balance. And here you see all of the information brought over here. So here you can see all the data that's been put in here. Get part, position part, process, unload on the side, and the inspection. OK. And the inspection's coming in as brown because it's non-value added. So remember, you put the non-value added here. And it puts it right in here. Now, the note here that says notes basket to operators, right, that's something we've added here. And you'll see that that get part here has a little uh, icon on it. And if you hover over that icon, you'll actually see down at the bottom left here, over here in this area here, just uh, hover over that option, basket to the operator's right. Okay, so this is how you actually create your bar charts from manually inputs into, into Excel. Next uh, section will show you how to add video recordings to these particular uh, tasks here.